Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Felicity here, and this is a tarot reading for those of you who have Moon, Sun, or Rising in the sign of Scorpio. Um, the overall feeling I get is that it feels like some of you may return to the past. Maybe you reconnect with uh, your ex, old flame, or old friends uh, because uh, you feel that uh, the present partner is still working on his or her, her own issues and not ready to build a relationship with you so you tend to go back to the past and reconnect with the old flame or old friends or the past lovers past a uh, partnership and it feels like uh, for some of you still uh it's not moving forward because you have a lot of things to do a lot of issues to be resolved and so instead of branching out instead of moving forward you take care of the past first okay and um, there are a lot of things for you to do and it feels like you are some of you may be in the dilemma you have two options and you are in the middle of these two uh, options or maybe some of you are deciding two paths and for some path uh, the, the path is not revealed to you so it's not 100% sure and the the options is hidden it's not revealing 100% for you so you're wondering whether to take this option to take this path or not and and for another so for another option is that uh, uh, it gives you something that is very certain you try to hold on to something that is very secure um so now let's take a look at the cards so at the beginning of the month some of you are holding on to something and this is something that is very certain very secure i feel that this is something that is from the past and it's very very uh, like a treasure to you and so uh, you just hold on to it but at the same time maybe you're not sure what you want to do with this option you're not sure what to do with it uh, maybe this is the past relationship past partnership uh, something that it's from the past maybe uh, the issues from the past so you hold on to it it's because this is something that is secure it may not be necessary something that you that is going to give you something that um, fulfillment in the future because that is something that's secure you it doesn't mean that something that it's very uh, fulfilled right and so you are not letting go um, you return to the past and because for the future you need to invest a lot of things a lot of energy to work on your future so I feel that you're not ready to really work on your future or some of you are working on the future but because there's a lot of effort a lot of things that you need to work on so you are trying to go back to the past because you may not be ready to put on the energy to put on some kind of investment to work for your future yet so you stick to the comfort zone stick to the past which is okay but it seems like finally you will realize that you have to do the work you have to put effort invest time and energy in order to create your future and so the universe is asking you are you ready to work for your future are you ready to take something that it's going to be emotionally fulfilled to you but then it's a lot of effort a lot of energy a lot of time that need to be put into to create something that is very peaceful for you create something that is emotionally fulfilled to you so um something new that is coming but then before you can embrace something new 
you have to work on the old wounds, the old issues, revisiting some old issues, and then work on it, and you will embrace something that is new coming to you. And so, um, you are looking forward to the future, and yet going back to the past. This is the state for you in April. And it seems like two options for you. It's very, very secure. And also, two options for you feel like something that you can show off, something that you are very proud of. But then these two options are not like not very practical. They are a little bit superficial, a little bit things that help you to show off. And these two options uh, are the things that you hold on to. And it's like decoration. It may not serve a real function, may not be very practical, but it's there, but they are there. These two options are there for you to show off, to decorate your life, but it's not very practical. Are you willing to let go of these two options? Another option is like uh, something that is a little bit more useful than the other two options. And it's like helping you to move and maybe this option um, it's half limiting you to move forward because you hold on to it and two options two ideas already like okay it's gone another option is like limiting and yet you're not letting go and so how you going to deal with it it's up to you okay um it feels like the things that you hold on to in the middle of the month it's going to fade away anyway and so it's going to it's going to be okay they are there to uh, decorate your life to help you understand how the future is connected to the past and how you need to heal the old wounds in order to see the future in order to connect to the future so it's it's okay that you go back to the past and looking forward to the future so finally at the later month you finally put some energy to invest your energy and your time to make effort to create something that is emotionally fulfilled to you and this is working by working on the old wounds the um, healing and working on something that it's picking up the old project as well and finally uh, you are trying to work on your emotion to work on letting go maybe also to work on revealing something to others trying to be honest with yourself and try to be honest with others as well and stepping onto something may break something okay so uh try to release something instead of stepping onto it uh not revealing and not trying to be honest with yourself or with others so to work on some inner issues you need to be honest with yourself and then present it as it is to others and not just uh, keep it underneath when you keep something underneath it means that you're not ready to face the issues at the same time you're not ready to help others to understand who you are or who you were in the past and it's not ready to face the issue so when you are honest when you completely work on your past issues you are able to present them to yourself and at the same time review it to the light to others as well so to work on it review it uh, not to keep it underneath 
and also to be gentle with your old wounds and old issues as well. So I see a lot of work to do, to be done, and which is helping you to move forward, which is very beneficial for your future, for your emotional fulfillment. I hope you enjoyed this reading. So for personal reading, please click the link in the description box below. See you next month. Bye.